What's going on everybody? Thanks for stopping by the channel today. It is a miserable overcast Tuesday at 7 o'clock. I just got off work and unfortunately I am actually about to head over to the shop because this weekend my lovely Audi S4 decided that it wanted to sound like a broke down hoopty with a wonderful exhaust leak. So luck and behold I was able to reach out to ECS. They were able to send me over some great new center pipes and down pipes which I'll be testing out and doing a little review through this. Um, I'm going to run inside real quick, get changed, come back out here, give you a little oversight on what this car sounds like right now and then we'll head over to the shop and see what this install is like and how good it fits and what it sounds like. So stay tuned while I go in and change. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can check out some future content as well. Oh yeah, here are the goodies. Pretty sure they sent this in two different boxes. One's the tool, and one's gonna be some down pipes with the new center section, so let's see how this goes. All right, all changed up and ready to go, but before I head over to the shop, I'm gonna start this car up and let you see what it sounds like now before we get going. outside so again my expectation is to go under there and see that the 115,000 mile stock exhaust flex pipes and the down pipe have finally let go I knew I had a small pinhole leak not too long ago but a little fun over the weekend seems to have brought this to a complete uh, end of the exhaust I guess is the best way to say it so we're going to head over to the shop, get a better look once this is on the lift, and go over and see how ECS's new downpipes fit and sound. Alright, we made it to the shop. Car's on the lift, but before we get started, I want to open up these boxes, make sure that we got all the correct parts. And I don't know if anyone has ever ordered from ECS. This is imperative that you do because not only might you never receive your parts, but when you get them, they might not necessarily be what you ordered. The rare razor blade found in the shop. I said I believe this first small package is going to actually be one of the tools. I don't know, they actually just sent all the hardware separately with the tool. So far we got all the bolts and clamps, new gaskets. Exhaust hardware. See what we got. Two more clamps. Center section. And two down pipes with new flex sections, which so far through this bubble wrap seem to look very good. So give me a second, let me pull this out.
Looks nice, some good welds. All right, so we're gonna see how this fits up. Get a test on how it sounds. If anyone's interested in checking out this system, I will put a link below to where I got it on ECS's website. It was a great Labor Day sale, but even for the price, I couldn't say no. For under 400 bucks to be able to get both downpipes and a center section is a great deal. So let's hope that sounds good and see how this fits up to this stock uh, exhaust back. All right, we got the car up here. Don't mind this wetness, just tried to cool it off a little bit before we dive into this. But as we can see, especially on this passenger side here, it is completely blown out. And I'm sure when we take this off, we will see a little bit more as it starts to fray a little bit on the driver's side as well. So we are going to remove both down pipes into this section, into the mids and replace it with the Dale. New system. What's up? All right. 